Thanks for watching this how-to video. Today we're going to be talking about how to configure MSET or VSET Select for a multi-hybrid on your Gen 3 display with 2020.1 or newer software. Before watching this video, please make sure we watch the General Planner Setup video in order to understand how to set up the General Planner Setup for 2020.1 on your Gen 3 display. First, let's go to the Setup button. Next, let's go to the Equipment tab to start setting up our system. Under our Equipment tab, we will need to go to the Seating tab to set up our MSET or VSET Select. Under our Seating tab, we will need to select our seating system as well as our seed sensor type. In this case, we'll be setting up an MSET system. Press your seating system and select either VSET Select or MSET. Once you've selected VSET Select or MSET, you will also need to select what hopper style you have installed on your system. Is this a full-size hopper without bulk fill? Is this a full-size hopper like a 1.6, 1.9, or 3 bushel with, with the bulk fill attached? Or is this a mini hopper on the system without a full-size hopper? In this case, we'll add a full-size hopper with bulk fill. Next, to complete the setup, let's go back and we'll go to the Systems tab to finish configuring the system. Under our Systems tab, let's press on the MSET button to configure our MSET system. Under MSET now, we have our graph at the top with our rows, and we have an Add Hardware button at the bottom where we can add our MSET rows. Next, we'll press Add Hardware, add our MSET, or VSET Select, and select all rows. When finished, press Done. Now we have the chart at the top of the, the, of the page that shows our MSET module assignments. And we also have active rows and blower control mode. We will need a blower control module or possibly a diverter depending upon what setup we have and what hopper we select earlier. For further questions, please feel free to reach out to Precision Planning Product Support. Thank you for watching this how-to video.